Welcome to a new video and today I'm gonna discuss the 6th SS Division which is called the 6th SS Gebirgs Division North. If you like this series please leave a like and subscribe. The 6th SS Gebirgs Division North was of course a division of the Waffen SS. The division was founded in Norway on February 28, 1941 and is banned on May 8, 1945 with the unconditional surrender of Nazi Germany. The division was stationed in Norway for most of the war. In early 1945 the division was transferred to the north of Germany where it held in reserve for the German 7th Army, located at the Rhine. The emblem of the 6th SS Gebirgs division was a Hegel rune. The rune was Icelandic origin and means Heil. After the war in Norway, in April 1940, Hitler decided to form a new unit from the SS Totenkopfverband to guard the border with the Soviet Union. The first two units to be established in Norway were the SS Battalion Rights and the 9th SS Totenkop Regiment. In early 1941, the 6th and the 7th Regiments joined them and the formations were merged into the 6th SS Gebirgs Division, which was later renamed Nord. The division was well equipped but barely trained for the grueling conditions of the Arctic Circle and General Nicholas van Falkenhorst was very much in doubt of their capabilities. The division was formed from the units of the SS Totenkopfverbande, concentration camp guards, to guard the border with the Soviet Union following the 1940 German occupation of Norway. In the spring of 1941, the newly formed division was moved into the position at Sala in northern of Finland with General Nicholas van Falkenhorst in command. The 6th SS North Division was made up mostly of volunteers from Hungary, Romania and a few Norwegians. In time the division formed the SS Gebirgsbrigade, formed by volunteering Norwegians and Finns. An Austrian regiment was also attached and a number of Swiss volunteers served in the division as well. Prior to the invasion of the Soviet Union or Operation Barbarossa, a new unit was attached. The SS Gebirgsjager or Mountain Artillery Regiment 6 and the brigade was very designated a division, the 6th SS Division North. The new division, partly as a result of inadequate training and poor leadership, soon became notorious for twice breaking in the face of the enemy forces. When it took part in Operation Arctic Fox, more than half of its infantry units broke and retreated in disarray. In September 1941, the division was attached to the Finnish 3rd Corps and took up defensive position at Kistinki. The division broke for a second time after panic took hold among the personnel, who came to believe that they were facing a major attack by the Soviet armed forces. By the end of 1941, it had lost a significant properties of its fighting personnel from both combat and non-combat related causes. Over the winter of 1941 and 1942, it received replacements from the general pool of Waffen-SS recruits. Rebuilt division was called into action against the Soviet Spring Offensive in 1942 and this time managed to hold its lines. Throughout the rest of 1942 and through 1943 remained on the Kastenga front which was quiet compared to other areas on the Eastern Front. In September 1942 the unit was renamed to the SS Gebirgs Division North, SS Mountain Division North and in October 1943 became the 6th SS Gebirgs Division North. In the Soviet summer offensive, the division held its lines in heavy fighting until it was ordered to withdraw to, from Finland upon the conclusion of a separate armistice between the Finns and the Soviets in September 1944. The 6th SS Mountain Division then formed the rear guard for three German corps withdrawn from Finland in Operation Berg and were from September to November 1944 marched almost a thousand miles to Mo Irana, Norway, where it entered for the southern end of the country. Norwegian ski battalion unit was then left behind in accordance with their contracts. They were merged into the SS Unschijega Polizei Battalion 506. The rest of the division headed for Germany. After crossing the Skagreak in a naval convoy, the division was briefly refitted in Denmark. The division losses were placed for a greater part of young Volksdeutsche ethnic Germans who had received only a brief training and had not been volunteering but been drafted to the Waffen-SS in the normal conscription process. Their fighting value was therefore consequently lower than being the case with former personal and naturally lower the combat abilities of the entire division. The division was slaughtered for participating in the German offensive in the Ardennes known as the Battle of the Bulls, but did not assemble in Aarhus, Denmark until 20 of December, several days after the attack had already begun. 
Instead, the fishing was allotted to Operation Nordwind in the Low Vosges mountains of southern France, arriving at the front line just before New Year's Day. Nord was the largest German division involved in Nordwind and had young and fit personnel compared to regular army outfits. By January 2nd, part of the division SS Gebirgsregiment 12 and 506 Battalion went into action against the US 45 Infantry Division attached to the 361 Volk Grenadier Division. For six days, the SS men fought in and around the town of Wingen, finally being pushed back by the Americans with most of its battle group killed or captured. On January 16th, the SS Gebirgsregiment 11 surrounded six companies of the American 157th Infantry Regiment. The Americans were forced to surrender three days later, losing 482 men. The North advanced for four more days before being stopped by the American counterattacks. The division remained on the Western Front after the Northwind Offensive, fighting Americans around Trier and Koblenz on the Mosul River in March, before going into the 7th Army Reserve in April. By this point, the division had lost most of its heavy weapons, officially to fuel shortages, and was grossly in the strength. In May 1945, the unit's survivors surrendered to the Americans in Austria. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did and I hope to see you in the next video.